I'm on. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So, it is Wednesday. It is, what, 13th of June? June. June, June yeah. Definitely June. Um, so, 11 and a half weeks out. The rest day today. So, we it's, it's a busy enough day. So, we said I would take you along. At the moment, it's just before half six. We're on the way over to Cuba's to, I got a deep tissue work done off, uh, off Jay, Jay or and um, I'll do an in-person check-in with Cuba as well, just to see where we're at midweek. Um, and yeah, a busy week because I have three sh three client shoots on Sunday as well, Saturday as well. So um, I'm just making sure I get up in the mornings and you know get back to them to try to know what they need for the day too. But um, Noel is actually coming over tomorrow, flying over tomorrow from Dublin. He's actually doing the shoot in Ultraflex on Saturday, which I'm really looking forward to. I'll actually. Um, I'm gonna get that filmed as well, so you, you get to see what it looks like. But yeah, that is the plan today. Okay, look at this. We are here. Going to get bashed. Good morning. This is the perfect start to the morning, and it's needed because legs tomorrow. Shoulders up as you open now. Up, 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 up. A little bit up. That's it. Don't lean back as much. Yep. So that check in went pretty well. Still no adjustments made. Right, we've been running this setup now for the last what, you know, maybe three, four weeks, maybe maybe five to be honest with you. And um, still no changes because things are coming down very, very smoothly at the moment. Legs are pretty flat um today at the moment, but upper is still holding relatively full as well. So, you know, we have to get flat to to you know to, to get new condition through. So they haven't completely kind of sucked in, so we will keep on pushing for the time being. Um, sitting at 123.5 this morning so usually what's happening is throughout the weeks weight is holding after rest days and upper body days but after leg days I'm pulling off just over a kilo on a leg day so that's every like fifth day there's about a kilo coming off and then it bounces back up like 0 0.2 0 0.3 and then it holds there and then it sucks back down again so you know if we can hold this and I reckon legs is tomorrow so I reckon by Friday we'll probably be down into the low maybe 122s then I'll probably come back up to like 120 2.6 or 7 hold there until the next leg day so that's kind of what's happened at the moment and when I get to this stage and my body's you know you know it's responding like this and I'm so meticulous with everything I can literally go to bed and I know exactly what way I'm going to wake up at you know so things are in a good position right now I know exactly what my body's going to do after certain days so um yeah as you will see not a terrible spot to be in that's 11 and a half weeks out as well so but definitely the best I've been at 11 and a half out before um, and I can come in a lot faster than this at the moment. Still, a lot of tools left to utilize, so I'm excited. You know, a lot of time left, but at the same time, not a lot of time because this will absolutely fly in. So, here we go on rest day. It's the same on train day and rest day, okay? So, I have the 200 mints, 100 rice, obviously the peppers, the mustard, etc., um, and the 100 grams of berries. But on a rest day, I have 10 grams of almond butter with that meal one as well. So that is it. I will actually get this sorted now 
and then I will, and then I will crack on into this morning's check-ins. So when I have this, my my phone is downstairs. My client phone is with me here, so it's going to be like a good few hours of just undisturbed deep work, basically. So I get into this, no distractions, nothing in my way. I'd be able to give like everything fully to my check-ins rather than procrastinating and being distracted, etc. As well, I think that's super super important. So just get a meal too. Sorted. So I have my chicken, my rice, my 100 grams of greens and peppers. I have my 100 grams of apple here as well. And any time I'm getting a meal ready, I'll always put something on YouTube here and just leave it there while, while, I'm, while I'm doing it. So today is, what even is this? Um, Must Love Fitness, Dennis James' podcast. So uh, yeah, this is what I'm doing, meal two. I'm actually just boxed off a lot of my check-ins as well. I actually had a consult in 25 minutes, so I get this eaten and then I will go and get this sorted. So busy day, non-stop this morning, and I love it. I think when you get to this stage of prep as well, and you're, you know, you get leaner and you, you know, your sleep is good, and I think the productivity just drives forward massively. Like the amount of stuff you can get done in a day when you're dieting is absolutely nuts in comparison to an off season where. You just sleep all day and you just, you just lethargic and it takes you like half an hour to do one little thing. But no, right now there's so much you can fit in and jump back into your day. So yeah, I feel like a, a jurist dog bunny. I feel like I can just, just sleep. Just. Yeah. So I am. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Meal time again. I think I spoke too soon with that, uh, with that last clip about, you know, feeling super productive, I think I've crashed. Um, but no, that was a busy morning. So, um, I don't even think. Um, Check-ins done, consult done. New starter sent out. So that is all work pretty much boxed off. So meal three. Then I have to sort out all the hoodies because a new batch of the one day at a time hoodies, new front hoodies came today. I came during that, came yesterday. So we're gonna send these out today. So I'm gonna show you through um, this, but this is not something that I am used to with the clothes and stuff. So anyone with a, anyone who has a clothes business, etc., fair play to you because it definitely is a lot more difficult than I would have thought. You know, and that's only we're sending a few hoodies out, so I can only imagine. Um, but yeah, next meal. I'm actually going to get two meals ready now for the next two, but 75 rice, 200 chicken, 100 green beans, and 100 pineapple. That is the next meal. So meal three, it is two o'clock now. So uh, yeah, man. Okay. All right, so hoodies. So just unboxing, I'm just going to kind of put them all into piles of sizes, and then we'll uh, we we'll get them all together. So, yeah, what's this? Double XL. So yeah, I'm going to get them all into sizes. Then I'm going to put them all, um, I'm going to write, obviously, a note in each of them, and then put a hoodie and a note into the delivery bags. And then uh, we'll, do, we'll do the addressing and stuff after that as well. But. Uh, this actually isn't too bad, but when you go to the post office, it's going to take ages. What was it like last time? Oh, it was terrible. So, um, Everyone was fuming. This is going to take a couple of hours probably, but I'm looking forward to getting them sent out. Okay. That'll do for now. That'll do. That'll do, Tigger. Tigger. <laughs> Tigger. I don't know where that came from. Sorted. Finally. Aren't we? I saw it. Thank God. That actually took... Longer than expected. And it's mashed after today. So we went to the post office and it took probably about an hour and a half for him to put everything through. And I, I expected that, but he was like at the end, he was like, have you not tried drop and drop and collect or something or drop and go? And I was like, what's that? And he was like, you can just come in, drop all your stuff here, have it already filled out online. And then we'll just do it as the day goes on. And I was like, I had no clue. So uh, yeah, it's sorted, uh, but I think I'll do that for next time. It's going to be a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, all hoodies, well, there's a few more to send out as well on, on Friday, but the majority of them sent out there today. So yeah, I can relax now. Um, that is 
my fan in the back because the heat over here is so hot at the moment, so hot. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the heat to be honest with you. My next meal now, my fifth meal, and then I am going to actually go finish off some steps and then chill out. I've all worked on, just got back to all messages there, etc. as well. So yeah, this is rest day. So Jay this morning, check in, steps, check-ins, consults, starter plans, um, hoodies sent out, back to work, more steps, and then chill out tonight. But that is, that is, that is it. I'll I first have to go to the party, then four, we'll talk later. This is what we are watching tonight. He's emotional. It's called Fubar. Didn't mean that. It's actually pretty decent so far. Now before bed, there has to be some switch off time so I can actually get switched off and actually get a proper quality sleep. If I, if I work, I keep going all the way up into bedtime. In the morning, it feels like I haven't even slept. So an hour before, switch off, chill out. It was two days later and I didn't finish that vlog off there. I want to actually show you um, an order that came through. I got this off Dolphin Fitness. I uh, I mix and match where I get my stuff from. I mix and match what brands I use. It's a couple of brands that I, like, I really, really like for certain things. I had to get some stuff here today. So I got the Mutant Iso Surge Cookies and Cream. That is the way I use all the time. Um, Car Drive by Conte. I use this. I use the JP. Um, performance fuel as well. I kind of alternate between them two. That is my intro workouts. And then my couple of health bits I got. So, Love Heart and Wild Support by JP. If you are enhanced, if you are on a cycle, they are going to be stables um, in your supplement stock. So, a small order for a restock. And I thought I'd show you what I got. So, guys, that is it for today's video. So, well, for this video. Right. Cheers. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, comment, and um, subscribe, please. It would mean a lot. And um, yeah, thank you very much, and I'll catch you in the next one.